last few years. Great player. I'm a huge fan of his. Love watching him play. And he comes to a place championship nice and sound. he gets the hottest player on the planet. 1-2-1 one, one here for Labanaskas. This could be a pivotal exchange in this match. He's going to get a dart at least the ball, barring a disaster. It is the ball. 96. Oh, it wasn't far away. Can Rids clean up and take back control? Took 60 earlier, but it's 10s here. 70. Just hasn't been a game where Rids has been brimming with confidence. He's been missing a lot of shots. Double eight for Labanowskis to break. Game shot. And that's a big break. Got as many as he wants here. Double ten. 80. Well, better there than inside, but Labanowskis is allowed to apply some pressure. You know, for a fact, a 137 is coming right here. This is what he does. He will hit this treble 19. I told you. This is what he does, and Rids can't miss this. Oh, prophetic Paul Nicholson strikes again. Can Callan Ridd strike the double of 10? He can. And he wins the match 6 5. Ashton down to a finish after nine darts. And Ted, you get the sense, feels that the writing is on the wall. This has maintained a really good average in this game throughout. It's pretty much always been under Ted's average. You're not going to get the big finish. Uh, yeah. But she does have 84 left. A little bit of 82. experience there. She was not sure what she had, and that is what the referee's for. Use them. Yeah, she's left herself at an annoying number, 79. 57 leaves, 22. 45. And as Lisa Ashton comes for this 79, she will hope that she's playing Callan Rids. Very soon. Well, good yeah. thing is she's got double five left. Oh, it's exhibition right. stuff from Ashton, and that's a little bit of salt in the wound because she thought she had 69, but ends up taking 79 with two doubles at the end. She's so good, she can do it with two doubles. Who comes next? Not but looking to leave tops. He'll take a shot at double 18, but that first dart's just a little flatter than he would like. So what did he do? He propped it up. 95. It's been a good performance from Danny, and the only thing missing is the match shot. Double 18 to be in round two. And that is a very good display in the end from Danny, who was troubled at times by Matt Jackson. But he can tell you by his body language that the chance was there. In the and does somehow find a 180. But it's got to be demoralising when you turn up for your first one, you're 5-2 down and only averaging low 80s. I mean, it's a heck of a thing to pick yourself up and go again. Particularly when it's such a big week for a lot of these guys, Joe Mernon included. Hello. Joe. 140. Oh, five perfect darts to start the leg. I'd much rather Joe miss that high than low. Because when it's high, it's got a chance of flicking the flight and gathering in that 60. But if it's low, it's got no chance. So never leave it short. And I'd like to see that from Joe. 100. Yeah, so often we see when clutch shots come, we see players drag those darts down, don't they? It's like they don't want to let go of it. Oh, what a setup this is. What a leg of darts and Joe Mernon. 180, 140, 141 for a potential 10 dart leg. Where was this earlier? He might just have 10 darters in him to the end. Game Takes shot. the 11, and he's going to need more legs like that, you feel. And somehow use the first dart to nestle in the bottom left corner, but he's got six from this 142 position. And 122 left with two. What do you want to do here? 
Surely the bullseye makes sense there, particularly with Mernon halfway down from 501. 96. The 25 leaves 97, then it's treble 19 leaves tops. He could, if he'd used the board more successfully there, he's coming back with three match darts and not two. And Joe Mernon, oh, that's unfortunate. He, it, 129 is makeable. It could have been even more makeable. And Ryan Meikle should have had even more match darts, but how many does he need? Could have had three. Gets two. Only needs one and gets over the line. He has been tested in round one, and that shows that he's got some steel about him because when he was tested in that last leg, he found just about enough. So going forward, he's going to play against Danny. Beat the top seed, Michael Smith. So Michael Smith is out. A 6-3 victory for the Belgian, Mike Dedeca. Jose de Souza, the number two seed, is through. He beat Mickey Mansell 6-2. And Brett Claydon's through to his board final with a 6-2 victory over Danny Baggish. But the standout display goes to the number four seed, Joe Cullen, who has powered into the last 32. 6-1 against Jason Heaver. He has averaged 112 and a half. Dirk looks at double 16 and pins it for a ton plus checkout. We've got a level game here. Or alternatively, throw your phone away and just watch Dirk van Dijvenbo to take out this 170 checkout, which is going to happen in the next few seconds. 85. Mm, Nick fancy he wanted to gamble and get that treble. Couldn't do it. Dirk van Dijvenbo, the first one's perfect. The second one is perfect. Oh, Dirk van Dijvenbo. Trouble needed. Not that one, Nick. Just straying into that five segment. It's happened a few times in this game. Callan Ridge has just won 6-1 against Lisa Ashton. 85. Who'd like to hazard a guess what the average was? I'll tell you at the end of this leg. Double 16. And Van Dijvenbode hits back on that double 16. He might be going out in the second round here, but if he does, he goes out with an enormous amount of credit. Ooh, a slip. A rare one from Dirk. Only leaves one, two, four. He might get six darts from here, Nick Kenny. Oh, dear, that's a shocker. Forty-five. You'd rather have one, one, six than one, two, four, but you'd rather get first go at it. Big, deep breath. If he doesn't get the job done in the next few seconds, Dirk van Dijvenbode might not get the job done at all. It's on. Double 11. Oh, that is classy. A classy end to a classy display and a real good contest between Dirk van Dijvenbode and Nick Kenny. I might be misremembering that. We certainly have seen it happen. An honorary nine darter. Did Michael Van Gerwen hit 40. his opponent's finish at the World Championship when his opponent was on a nine dart to miss the 1-4-1 one, one, and then VG cleaned it up even though he didn't need it. Yeah, that was uh, got to the point in that match against 40. Dave Chisnell that he just didn't <laughs> didn't matter what Michael Van Gerwen did. Chisnell was just untouchable on the night. He was just trying to fool the referee, I think. Hoping for a random game shot. I can't remember who was ref, I think. But they can't be fooled. Forty-three. No pressure from Adam Hunt yet. Lewis has got a couple of visits to see this off. He's going the 18s routes. Lovely stuff. Game How shot. about that, AD Lewis? 54, 54, 36. Must seem like centuries ago to Adrian Lewis. 91. Well, he didn't get. The go with the bullseye for 170 to lead the match. He might need it to stay in the match now, Adam Hunt. What a shot this would be. Adam Hunt gets one at the bull. And he's pinned it as well. And Adam Hunt, the big fish, even Adrian Lewis has to acknowledge a stupendous shot. And it might change the destiny of this match. 
it's Luckless Lewis. Well, he should get match darts from here, Adam Hunt. 100. Could start on the bullseye. No. On a more conventional route. Does he go for it again? Ooh, my word, that was a little bit close to the treble 18. You might have been wishing you had gone for it. Lewis can only pile on the pressure. 177. Well, that's not a bad way to go about it, but Adam Hunt has three darts at double 16 to defeat Adrian Lewis the for the first Adam time in his career. Had met six times before this. It had always been Adrian Lewis. He came in the 11th leg. Gabriel Clements winning a last leg decider with a nine darter. Is Dishauser winning this one on the ball? 99. To stay in it. 77. Over the top. Double eight will seal the deal for Dishauser, who moves into the last 16, ending a great day for Peter Jakes. Two folks has to get this. Lovely dart. Not so lovely. 78. And it could be too bad, Brad. Seventy. Nobody was expecting that from Chris Toby, the way he's played in this match. Not least Bradley Brooks, but he does get a chance. Has he blocked himself out? Four scored. Well, Dovey has been on top. Game shot and on tops, he wins the match and books his place in the quarterfinals. And he's put himself in a good position again here to break Michael Van Gerwen. This might have to go. And it ain't going. It's going wrong for MVG. We've seen him time and time again produce dazzling displays of darts and be beaten. Well, here it's substandard stuff from MVG. That's 36 from Dave Chisnell. He left 31. And that left 16. 51. Is Van Gerwen going to get away with the slow start to this match? Treble for top. So he's gone up. Can't find the treble. Two. He didn't bother here, Michael Van Gerwen, if this goes in. Game shot. And in it goes. And Van Gerwen, well, those socks must be up by his thighs by now. Match. Eighty-two. Van Gerwen averaged one hundred and two point nine five when he lost to Dirk Van Dyvenbode, or one hundred and seven point one when he lost to Daryl Gurney, and one hundred and seven point two eight when he lost to Ryan Searle when we were here just over a week ago. One hundred and thirty-three. Well, he's nowhere near that standard here, and Dave Chisnell, the man with a three-figure average, making the most. One two two on Chisnell's here. We'll try and sandwich a dart in between those. Ninety. What a tasty filling it was. One hundred and five. Well, Van Gogh has woken up slightly towards the back end of the match, but Dave Chisnell has had his foot on his throat for most of it. And lands the killer blow. Chisnell defeats Michael Van Gogh in 6-2. You can see what MVG thought about his performance. That last 16 match because Ryan Joyce had missed the ball to win that match 6-5. Rob Cross was on 144 
to win the match and he plugged it. 41. It takes real world championship quality to be able to do that. An evident confidence that he possesses in spades right now. 100. Doby needs a two treble visit here to worry Rob's position. Might get more. Does get more. 108. That's exactly what Cross did not want to hear from our referee, Andrew Davies. Double ten. Game shot. It is of no consequence because he finds the bottom corner. Impressive performance to bag a second title. And he could well have been up against Callan Rids, of course. Only a matter of days ago in another final. That could have been the dream Northumberland final. It didn't happen. One hundred and forty. But what he wants to do is take this forty-six. It's the only thing on his mind. Double sixteen. Game shot. Really pinpoint stuff. Breaks straight back with an eleven data. And the performance level in this match has to be applauded. Five three to Rob Cross. Chris won their last meeting. It wasn't that far ago. It was on the 20th of October. And it was by six legs to two. And he averaged over 103 in that match. But I think you're going to get a different rub cross in this one. 100. He's not going to average 91 like he did back then. Perfect first start. Excellent second for a double 18 shot. Game and he up. takes the fifth leg in a 156. Story for me. All of the lines and the angles are so perfect, and the rhythm is so beautiful. 77. Again, for an 87 and an 11. Last time he was here, he got it in 12. Game shot. It's better this time. And those averages are climbing. And right now, I don't think I'm alone in thinking that I don't want it to end. But Chris Doby wants it to end in the next six darts. 140. Another maximum? You bet it is. Now Cross needs another big finish to stay in the tournament. Double 18 tops, is it? Just misses out, and Doby's got three darts at double 14 to play Ryan Searle in the final. Wow. What a performance, not just from Hollywood Chris Doby, but from Rob Cross as well. Because Callan Rids made the final, Chris didn't a few tournaments ago. And Searle's looking to make up for the fact that he's missed those shots at double 15 in the last leg. Single 12, because we all know he loves tops. 52. Based on his performance in the semi final, I think he likes it even more. Sixty-five. Just in case. Game the hopes are extinguished for more finals and potentially taking more titles. I absolutely agree. You can't play at that level without finding yourself at this point of tournaments. It makes, as we say, another maximum from Doby. It makes what Michael Van Gerwen is going through right now even more puzzling because he's second in the averages, averaging 99 for the season, and he still hasn't got a title. Double 16. Double 8. Game shot. And he gets it, and he keeps hold of that two-leg cushion. What Ryan Searle has done in the last three years, and we look at the head-to-head -head since then, Ryan's won their only meeting. It's nothing to brag about, Paul. He's never beaten me either. Touche. <laughs> well, you have actually played him. That's the difference. He was 41. nowhere near this good. He is good. Showing how good he is. He's on in 11 data. Game shot. And in it goes. And Ryan Searle is right back in this final. But he's turning it up now. It just looks like a man on a mission, Chris Doby. Just looks so assured, 100. like a man who... 
who thinks he's going to win the title, who, who knows he's going to win the title even. You don't know you're going to win the title. 44. You think you're going to win the title, but you have to make your own destiny here. 51 and ball for 6-3. He's had two attempts. Game Third shot. time lucky, because it's 6-3 now. And remember when Searle started to do bits on tour, it was Chris Dolby that 100. tweeted for the very first time that Ryan Searle looked like Lord Farquaad from Shrek. So it was all Dolby's fault. Is it going to be revenge for Searle for doing that? Because he's never lived it down. However, watch out. Oh, and he made it shake. Well, that would have been the Hollywood blockbuster. 48. Ryan said almost rescued the shot. Dobie can pull two clear and one away by finding yeah, double eight. Chris Dobie just remaining defiant. The 156, he's taking the bullseye out of the equation, but you know for a fact that Searle can't leave a finish, but he does get close. So this is for it. He had a 156 in the semi final. Doesn't want that to come out of the board. 76 left. 100. Well, all of those darts touched each other en route to the board. 126. Dobie thought you would have a chance in the last visit. He'll definitely get a chance now. It's double top. Double 10. Game and it is delight for Dobie, who doubles his title tally, taking his second Players' Championship win of 2021.